All right, guys. So uh, these Burmese python eggs that we came in and we found uh, um, under the hide with the female. We didn't know she was gravid. She had copulated with the male. And uh, we found these eggs, uh, the female coiled around the nice clutch of eggs that were there. And uh, the first thing that goes through our mind when something like this happens is, do we need to incubate these eggs? Are there a, a, a sources of uh, a facilities out there that are looking for them? And uh, first thing I did, I reached out to little Ray uh, himself and he had uh, put the feelers out. And there were zoos that were interested in the bloodline that we had because the female where she came from is a very good strong bloodline still. So we got the go-ahead to incubate. But we didn't take the eggs away from the female and artificially incubate them in an incubator. We said we're going to let her do it naturally and we'll see whatever babies we get out. Now, we didn't even know how many eggs she had at that point because she was so tightly coiled around them. As they started to hatch about six days ago, uh, the female starts to kind of release her coils and move away from those eggs. And that was when we started to get a bit of a bigger picture of how many eggs we actually had. And uh, we ended up with uh, 42 eggs and we got 38 babies out of those eggs that are all live. And um, those, some of them we will be holding back um, and uh, raising ourselves here at the zoo. We'll keep maybe five or six of them back. And then the rest of them are going to other facilities that are now requiring them. And uh, the interesting thing with these guys is that they are born fairly large. And uh, they, uh, they've all hatched out now and they, they've uh, moved their way away from the nest. Now they don't stay with their mom. So it's always an interesting thing is mom normally moves away from the, the, the nest as they, as they kind of start to hatch. She'll go start to get herself some water to drink. She'll get her, uh, maybe start looking for food again because during that incubation period, she doesn't do anything but other than devote herself to the care of those eggs. And uh, that's what she's done for the last uh, 90 to 100 days or so. And uh, we've incubated them around 32 degrees, but just it's a, such an amazing thing. No matter how long you work in this field, seeing animals uh, giving birth or babies being born it's just it's always such an amazing thing to see and uh, it never gets old for us even for us at the zoo here we've seen it thousands of times where babies have been born and we still absolutely get totally excited about it